So if you want to upgrade your camera gear and become more professional as a YouTube creator, I'm going to show you what cameras you need. I think I've found the best cameras for what you need for a YouTube channel. And I'm going to start off with the absolute beast of them all, and that's this one, the GH5 from Luminx Panasonic. I think about 80% of all the creators on YouTube are using this camera. And it's actually far too professional for YouTube. You could use this to make a Netflix film with. It's got fantastic video quality. It records in 4K at 60 frames a second if you want it. The slow motion on this camera is what, for me, puts it above other cameras in this price range. It'll record at 180 frames a second in full HD, not 4K, but the full HD quality is really good. Often you get cameras which will do, even my phone will do 120 frames a second, but the quality when you blow it up is really poor. This is not poor, this is really good quality, full HD. And at 4K at 60 frames a second, when you slow it down to 25 frames, it gives you a reasonable slow motion. And of course, it's still in 4K. So to, to give you that out of a small camera like this, it really puts it above, a cut above all the other cameras. The IBIS dual stabilization with its floating sensor is so good, I rarely use a gimbal and use it handheld for most recordings, even with the native telephoto lenses. It'll also record in 422 color depth, which is true professional um, recording like the BBC require. I don't need to use it at that quality for, for YouTube, um, but it's there if you need it. It's got two recording slots, for SD cards and everything is recorded directly to the SD card um, if you wanted to use um, a, an outside recorder you can it's all everything's pluggable to this thing it's a beautiful camera it doesn't have the best automatic focus but I generally use it on um, manual focus although you can do great focus transitions using the touch screen it's it has got obviously the flippy out screen which Everybody loves if they want to do selfies or talk uh, about anything to the camera. So it's a true YouTube camera, this one. And I think anybody that's used one will agree. It's not great in low light, but you can get around that by using, you know, high f-stop lenses, or you can use lenses from other cameras. The full frame um, lenses will fit onto this camera because it's got a micro four thirds sensor. You can actually put bigger lenses on it from Canon and old lenses that are cheap with a speed booster which focuses the light on the smaller sensor and makes it more capable in darker situations. And I use the native 100 to 400 lens which on a full frame camera would be the equivalent of a 200 to 800 lens and because you can also crop down on the sensor you can actually get n the equivalent of 900 millimeters out of a lens that size, which is only weighs just over a kilo. It's really fantastic. And I've, I record, I have recorded birds. And if you look at my, uh, my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've done several recordings of wildlife. Uh, and this is really a fantastic setup. So what else have I got? Well, one of the other cameras I use for YouTube, which I've, I'm actually recording with at the moment, is the AX53 from Sony. This Handycam has got a little movable gimbal um, lens in it, which gives it optical stabilization that is as good as a gimbal. It really is fantastic. It's a very easy camera to use, and you can give it to anybody, and they'll just press the button and start recording and it's pretty much guaranteed to give you pretty good quality. It records in 4K but only at 25 frames a second and if you want to record slow motion you can record slow motion but it's nowhere near the quality of this the slow motion that comes out of this camera. So it's a great handy little camera that's why it's called a handy cam. What else have I got? Well I've got one of these it's not a GoPro, it's the Osmo Action from DJI. And I think they're about on a par now 
This is about the same as the uh, newer um, GoPro 9 with the front facing screen so you can flip between the back screen and the front screen and what's it's really useful to have that other screen on the front um, as you can probably imagine and it's so easy to use this I think this is actually easier to use than the GoPro um, the, the menu at the back is much easier to use and you've also got automatic buttons for flipping everything from like the front screen to the back screen it does great hyperlapse I bought this little adapter that plugs into it it is waterproof can, uh, down to 10 meters about the same as the GoPro without a casing on and if you take the little um, trap door off which then you lose its full waterproofing ability of course you can clip this on and clip in a microphone and, and microphone just clips straight in and I use it with a lavalier mic um, on a selfie stick and I can walk with it and talk with really good um, sound quality. Most of the artifacts here are from Perge and the Spendos although there are some artifacts here from Patara as well so it's a great camera and it re this also records in 4k at 60 frames a second again it's not the quality of this and the stabilization is superb on on these cameras nowadays the new ones whether it's GoPro or a DJI it doesn't really matter I also use a drone my drone is um, the DJI Mavic Air 2 which I think is fantastic the best drone I've ever flown it's um, it also records at, at, in 4K at 60 frames a second and um, it flies and it's got great sensors it, it's it flies of course it flies it's got great sensors on it if you need them and it it flies pretty good indoors as well well I've often used it indoors to fly around rooms and so it and it's so easy to control with the controller so that's basically all my cameras now obviously if you've got a YouTube channel one of the most important things you'll need is good sound and I hope you're getting good sound now and that's because what I'm using is this which is the the Rode Wireless Go now I've actually got the, there's two of these you get two one goes on the camera which is on the camera at the moment so I'm recording with this and the other one it has got its own microphone so you can just use it like that little black block and you can pin it to you or pin it to someone else that you're talking to action so this is the end of March and as you can see the weather is still lovely you get some great deals at all-inclusive resorts such as this one but I use it with a lavalier mic and I plug the lavalier mic in it's here you can probably hear that and then I put this in my pocket so please like subscribe and hit the notification bell and it's got a range of about 50 meters which is great because over 50 meters you can't see anybody on the camera anyway so with the addition of a tripod this is what we take with us when we go traveling and it all fits into two small bags so I hope you found this informative please subscribe to our channel hit the like and the notification bell and uh, thanks for watching